So I've had the Jet Black iPhone 7 Plus now going on about three months and I want to share a quality update with you about the scratches and the condition after three months. That episode's coming up right now. Let's go. So beginning at the bottom of the iPhone 7 Plus, I actually have not suffered any scratches. You can see here is the speaker grill as well as the lightning port. I did accidentally create a little scuff right here where I'm pointing. And you know, that was from my own dropping of the iPhone 7 Plus onto a table without having a case on it. So I did suffer that myself here. On the top here, you can see it's very smooth and no scratches here. So definitely pretty solid so far here on my iPhone 7 Plus. Now on the front, I do keep a screen protector so I haven't suffered much on the front in terms of scratches but the glass even on the sides where the screen protector is not covered has held up well and that's good because this is what we look at most is the front of our iPhone 7 plus here now in terms of the fingerprint scanner this has been very scratch resistant and I have not suffered any scratches here as well as you can see I wipe it off there's absolutely nothing to be seen here for that touch ID scanner now if you take a razor blade to it of course it will scratch here now, in terms of the volume rockers in the mute switch along the side also have not contained any scratches here as well and this is because you know this is where the case really covers up the phone here now on the left side or we have the power button or the right side that is in the sim card we do have you know no scratches here as well so i've been pretty happy with the side borders of the iphone 7 plus jet black in terms of its quality Taking it over to the back side of the iPhone 7 Plus, this is a very hard phone to photograph, so you don't really see any scratches here within the gloss of my iPhone 7 Plus, but there are some nicks and crannies and nicks to be found here on the iPhone 7 Plus. We're just not going to see it here, so it really depends on, you know, how far you are away from the light and the camera, so, you know, this is why the iPhone 7 Plus Jet Black is actually not that bad to own because you actually have to look for the little scratches that do happen, but here... In this example, you are going to see little nicks right here in this light. So now they are starting to show. So you see these little micro abrasions and scuffs and scratches that do happen here. I'm going to go along the borders and along the back of it, and you could see pretty much through that light. Try not to focus on the light bulb, but focus on the foam. You could see there's a scratch right there. And going down to the bottom, some more nicks over here on the side. So definitely there are nicks and scuffs here on the iPhone 7 Plus. You could see at the bottom here a lot more nicks there right by the the letters and numbers you can see there's a little scratch right there going up to the top where they do keep the antenna band after the apple logo is you know this is where it scratches a lot so up there where my finger is resting it does tend to scratch a bit but here are some more scuffs right here on the iphone 7 plus and some right there so definitely they are all over the back of this phone and like i say up here on the antenna band is where this really starts to scuff and this pretty much happens on all of the iphone 7 plus is it scuffs up there on the antenna band. But like I say, if you hold the iPhone 7 Plus from a distance, you're never going to notice these scratches and you really have to be looking for them and really who has time to be shining a flashlight on our smartphones and just looking for scratches. If it bothers you that much, the iPhone 7 Plus Jet Black is probably not for you, but you can see there's no scratches suffered to the earpiece here. But I did want to mention that the kind of cases that I have been using most frequently on my iPhone 7 Plus have been an Apple leather case. This is kind of a knockoff case I got on eBay for like 10 bucks here but it does have the suede on the inside and does cover the top portion of but it doesn't cover the bottom portion of the iphone 7 plus so that is exposed there so if you really want to protect it you might want to stay away from a case like this from speak and this is a jet black case because it does expose the top and bottom if you really want super protection i do recommend you get something like an otter box or something thick like that to protect it but you can also go with the apple other cases for sleek and good protection but should you buy an iphone 7 plus jet black it depends you know, if you're really crazy about scratches and stuff like that, stay away from it because you're definitely going to be looking for them. But anyways, that's my quality update three months later on the iPhone 7 Plus Jetpack. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this. I will catch you all in the next one and peace.